we had to, we broke four percent yesterday. You saw that first time in. Uh, well, you know, there are two ways of saying it. You could say first time in 20 years or first time in this century. And <laughs> and, and we really uh, we're doing great from that standpoint. And we want to get we want to get our workers back. We want to get our we want to make our product here. We want to make our. Uh, everything here. We This is America first now, folks. This is now America first. It's enough. What we've been doing for the last long period of time, long period of time. Uh, thank you. We have uh, Make America Great Again. We have America first. You can choose whichever one you want, or you can choose both. I, I really want to choose both, but the choice is America first, because we really have and, — and by the way, other countries, they put themselves first, okay? I'm not saying, you know, we've had where we talked about America. Well, the fact is, we want to be first. We're going to make our country great. And you know what? People from other countries, they're going to do what they have to do. But we're going to bring it to a level playing field right now. You look at our trade deficits with every country. Virtually. I mean, I don't even have to ask. I don't have to go around, how are we doing with this country or that country? For the most part, almost every time, we're doing badly. We have deficits with everybody. And don't let anyone ever tell you that trade deficits are okay. They're not okay. They're not okay. We have massive trade deficits with China. We have massive trade deficits with Mexico. Who would think? A hundred billion dollar trade deficit with Mexico. Who would even think that? Uh, we passed the biggest tax. If you look, I mean, you take a look at the, the tax, I call it the tax cut plan. You know, they wanted to call it the tax reform plan. I say, how come since Reagan, nothing has passed having to do with tax cuts? How can, and being a non-politician, I'd say, how is it possible not to be able to pass tax cuts? They said, well, it hasn't happened since Ronald Reagan, anywhere near what we're doing. But essentially, tax cuts, even at a small level. I said, I don't understand. You're going to reduce taxes for people, and you can't get votes? They say, no, sir. They say, huh, I can't figure it out. Then I found out they don't call it tax cuts. They've called it tax reform. Well, tax reform might mean your taxes go way up. It could mean a lot of bad things. So I said, here's what we'll do. We're going to call this plan the tax cut plan. <laughs> tax cut, C-U-T, tax cut. We're going to cut taxes. We're not going to reform. We're going to reform, too. But we're not going to reform. We're going to cut taxes. So I was — I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Because I looked, and I studied, like, four or five attempts, and they failed miserably. So they called me up, and they want to know, sir, what's the official name you'd like on the bill? I want it to be called — this is true. They didn't want to do it. They thought it was a little hokey, and I think they were right. But I wanted to be called the Tax Cut, 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 Cut Plan. <laughs> I actually did. I would have put it in. I would have put it in. You know that, Charlie? And they said, that's a little, you know, front of the United States guy. I said, I said, all right. So we'll call it the Tax Cut and Jobs Plan. And we did that, and we got it passed. And it's the first time, the biggest in our history. And the stock market, since the election, the stock market is up almost 35 percent. Think of that, almost 35 percent. And honestly, and companies are doing even better than that. Companies are doing better. They are ready to just do numbers that you've never seen before. The poll numbers are, you know, pretty good. The, the question is whether or not they actually say that I'm popular. Can you believe it? Of course, the fake news doesn't say it. Fake news. <laughs> no, they, they, it's been, you know, we've been doing very well. We just had a poll, 51 or 52, uh, which came out, you know, very nicely. And then I turn on, uh, like, you know, one of the networks, and I see Donald Trump, who's not very popular. I'm saying, what, what are you talking about? In fact, you saw the poll came out that I'm above Obama. Uh, above Obama. And then, Oh, but then you turn to the fake news and they go, Donald Trump, who's not very popular. And I'm saying to myself, how did they get away with it? You know, I'm not saying, hey, 
it's going good. We're doing well. It, it actually amazes me when you can be at 51 or 52 on a poll that was very, this is Rasmussen, it was very accurate for the election, one of the more accurate polls for the election. And you're in that category and you get nothing but bad publicity. I mean, I get nothing but bad publicity. I say, how is it possible that I can do that? Now, it's fake publicity. And some of the, you know, some of the, I have to tell you, there's some great professionals too in that world. You know, I don't want to make it like everybody. But the, the amazing thing is that the people are smart. They get it. You see the jobs. Now you have choice too. Just like we're getting the veterans choice. We're going to have that very soon, by the way. You're going to have choice of jobs, of jobs. You know, people, people would have one job and they were petrified to leave that job. They didn't want to leave that job because they didn't think, you know, they were, you know, working at the, you got to love what you do. You're not going to be good at it. You got to love it. Now you're going to have choice because there are a lot of jobs. You have a lot of job openings and, and people that weren't hiring for years and years and years. All of a sudden we have jobs and, you know, we have up in Wisconsin, we have Foxconn coming in. That's a friend of mine. They make many of the Apple iPhones and Apple equipment. And I said to Tim Cook, who's now investing $350 billion Apple, and they're bringing much of it in from foreign lands, from overseas. They're bringing it in because of our new tax plan, because it gave them the incentive to bring money. So these big companies are bringing the money back and they're investing it in the United States. Tim Cook is bringing $230 billion back from overseas, money you would have never seen. And Apple's spending $350 billion on new plants and a campus. So it's great. It's great. So we have a lot of things happening. And in Ohio, you know what's going on. The auto companies are starting to come back. They're starting to expand. I had, I was so nice. I was greeted at the airport by great people. And some of them were coal miners. And one of them said they're dressed in beautiful, actually black shirt. I said, give me one of those. I want to wear it if I ever play golf. I'll wear that shirt, it's beautiful. <laughs> It was beautiful, actually, but they're proud. And there were four of them, and they were standing. They greeted me off the airplane. There were a lot of people waiting at the airplane. And I went over, they said, sir, we're coal miners. And since the day you got elected, we've been filling up the trains. I said, what do you do? He said, we load trains. I said, well, that's a good description. I mean, I don't need better than that. That says it all. He said, we load trains. And from the day you got elected, we've been loading trains. Before that, I said, how was it? They said, not good. There wasn't too many trains to be loaded. But he said, I haven't had a day off since the day you got elected. And that's happening. And it's going to be happening even more so. So when it's all together and when everything is really set and it's really going well, it's going much better than people even understand.